So either you're watching this in lockdown, like me now, or you're watching this in the future, when we can hug, kiss, and high five all over again. Either way, lockdown's been pretty mad, isn't it? But being grounded has encouraged us to go through our unreleased, never seen before footage, and we think we've produced something pretty awesome. In 2018, Will and I, along with four other mates, took part in the infamous rickshaw run. A grueling, but hilarious, 3,000 kilometer adventure in the world's most uncomfortable vehicles. It wasn't plain sailing, it was mad. But we got to see India in a way that few ever do. We shot hours and hours of footage over the two and a half weeks, and we struggled to ever get a grip on the edit until now. So cheers to quarantine for that one. So here it is, ladies and gents. It was shot two years ago, even though Will and I look about 10 years younger, and I was wearing some of the worst clothes ever known to man because they got wrecked every day. Anyway, enjoy. The Rickshaw Run is a 3,000 kilometer rally but 80 tuk-tuks go from the south of India all the way up to the north of India. We're going to be driving through mountains, deserts, busy cities. Ben and Sam are going to be in their own Rickshaw. Will and I are going to be another one. This is Raf and this is Liam Doolan. There you go, Will, you got a new mate. And this is Black Hat, our security guard for the entire trip. You looking forward to it? A few weeks ago, we set our designs off that we made on computer, and someone is now painting them, or has been painting them, onto our rickshaw. Let's rickshaw. go and check them out. We're getting into, not our rickshaw, but a rickshaw to the Edward School Memorial where all the rickshaws are. We're going to meet the mechanics, going to have a little talk through. Thank you very much. Well, we've just got to the registration desk. All the rickshaws are all lined up around there. Um, I've spotted ours. Mate, I'm so excited. Oh, I can see our names on it. Oh, the front looks wicked. Got top jaw number plate, mate. It doesn't feel like... No, no, stay in neutral. I know, but I was just... Okay, in neutral. You've got a clutch from your left hand. Got to get a fighting point, you know. They're not the height of engineering, are they, really? No, they're not, yeah. So, there's no leg room here. Um, but it was awesome, mate. So good. Well, we can come, make sure it's the right oil, not diesel engine oil. It can flood, and that will mean. Clear our engine, like. Will? Or just our willies? I think it was really luck of the draw as to what artist you got painting your tuck tuck, because some of them are intricate as hell and others look like they've been done by a drunk five-year-old. We're off to get some spares in the unlikely, very likely event that we'll need them. Liam and Raf are there at a roundabout holding everyone up. Everyone's going around them. We're just trying to get some spares and they're just stuck there. They haven't got a clue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't touch the clutch. Yeah. Right. Pull it up and... and I mean, you know, I'm just a superhero, basically. Third time lucky, we've actually found a mechanical shop that sells our spares for our rickshaw. Bark plugs, gear cables, a uh, little oil measure, oil, funnel. We're getting two tassels, they're probably the most important part. That's actually a normal size bottle, he's just really big. Okay, so about 6.30, we can head down to the beach to get a ferry, which is going to take us to an old fort. That's where the party is going to be. It's going to be cheap beers, a bit of music, a bit of fun, meeting everyone else who's on the ritual run. Um, a little bit tired, but we'll be fine. Nothing like a couple of beers where it's sort of our world. Here we go then, man. 
Time to set up. Oh my. Mate. Some snake shed its skin in our tuck tuck. We are fashioning a mega boom speaker holder thing. It's going to hang in the back of our tuck tuck and play beautiful beats to us. us. No, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing booty speaker. Oh, well, that's going to get through the seat. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh, f off. Yeah, it's really kicked it up a notch today, heat wise. Um, and it's quite good that the rickshaw, with its sort of uh, plastic cover, acts like a magnifying glass slash tent. So it can really up the ante when you're doing some work in there, which we have been doing. <laughs> Go out there, experience India in the way it should be experienced. Do the group photo, mate. They're about to flag us off in 10 minutes. Everyone's just setting off now. They've dropped the flag. It's towards the back of the pack. We're a little bit dishevelled. Uh, but we are excited. They're around 110 cc engines, 0 to 60 in never, no fuel gauge, uh, light, a windscreen wiper that is beyond pathetic. Although we do have side cushions. Pretty pumped, man. I mean, we've got no idea where we're going. We've actually not looked at the route once. We're too busy making pillows. We're just basically going to follow people up, hoping they're going to go the right way. And um, yeah, we'll check later. Um, we've just paused, we've come off sort of mental Indian highway and we're now into tropical jungle. Lush, it's completely nuts how it changed so quick. We're on our way to Anthropilly and we're about 14 kilometers from there. Which doesn't sound a lot, but in these little bad boys, it takes it some time, they like to take their time. We've encountered some rain, some storms, there's some pretty bad thunder brewing right now. Uh, it's gone from very sunny to very not sunny and very thundery. Oh, Welcome to Kerala. We're now out of the nature reserves and into basically coffee plantations, which look amazing. We have been stopped by the police though, but it's all good. I think they just wanted a selfie and now they're off. And that now as per locals all want selfies with us as well. You feel like rock stars. We have reached Valpari. It, we had done about 100 kilometers today, even though we've driven nine hours. We're all very happy. We checked into a hotel in this random little town we found, um, and it was really quite bad. We went over the road, found this one. Much, much, much better, ain't it, Will? We've got air con, smells clean, big double beds to ourselves, a shower. Yeah. So yesterday, we drove all the way through the mountains. Um, we saw some of the most amazing sights I've ever seen in my life. However, we only covered about 100 kilometers. And for us to actually finish this, we have to do 200 kilometers a day. Over 200 kilometers a day, basically. We've, we drove about, oh f I'm going We drove about nine hours yesterday, and they were pretty gruelling <laughs> miles for the little tuk-tuk. Um, it's just basically dawning on us how Okay. You're right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just basically dawning on us how hard this whole thing's actually going to be. Today we're trying to drive to Cozy Cody. The beasts are fueled. So is this beast. We're not any money Done. So we've just been waiting for about ten minutes because we lost Raf and Doolan. They're tailing behind. That's Ralph and Liam's rickshaw up there. But we were expecting a big like, yeah, you're back. But then Sanders drove it past with Liam and Ralph in the back. So it suggests that they can't stop and that Liam's having trouble driving it. Okay, so we finally, I mean, mate, this has been a mission, isn't it? We've been trying to get help for Liam and Ralph's rickshaw. It's, it's a struggle, isn't it, Will? So they gave me a Rickshaw. And then upon all of that, whilst we were going forward and they were being towed, we were trying to find the right mechanic, our gears went. 
It's very fortunate for us, but where else in the world can you just pitch up at a mechanic and they'll go, yep, okay, I'll help you out now. Third mechanic this one's been to, he's been spending ages on this one, he's had other guys looking at it, fiddling around with it. Thought he got it going and he just hasn't. Oh, oh God, Jeffrey, what now? They're having a bit of a sense of humor failure now. So even after it being with that mechanic, he, he basically admitted, he said, like, I can't get it, I can't get it sorted. You need to go to the bigger mechanics, 10 kilometers away. We've probably done, what, a kilometer? Less. And we're still having problems. So we've resorted to towing. We're strung up on the side of the road. Uh, I think the local schools have heard about the white people here in trouble because they seem to be parading tuk tuks full of kids around and they're always waving at us. They stop here, then they go back. I really want him to know that my rickshaw is Getting there. Even if it takes us to midnight, we're getting there. We go, if it one more right time, not one of you say anything, I just do it. Well, man, I well, no, I just we just luggage room. You record it, I bin it, that's the end of it. I don't do that, I even do that. Hey. No. Yeah, whenever, as soon as it goes again. If it goes one more time, that's what we're doing. I reckon we park it over there, we leave the key in it. It's someone's Christmas present and we just move on because otherwise we're not going to get there tonight. We're three days late now. It, it's, uh, we've given it so much heart, I just feel like we just need to let her go now. She's dead, man. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> we really, really struggle with this one for two whole days. And it doesn't sound a lot in the general scheme of things, but we've been driving for like hours and hours and hours every day and constantly looking behind us like, is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Wait for it. Wait 20 minutes. Wait half an hour. Get it going again. Is it dead? Yeah. And now it's getting the time is getting shorter, shorter, shorter that it's alive for. Especially you bring hills into the equation, it's f um, so basically Raf has orchestrated uh, well a game of ditch and run. <laughs> Raf's gonna come with us, Doolin and the other one. Well, I reckon this is probably in the top ten weirdest things I've ever done in my life. We're giving the keys to these guys at a furniture shop. It's about half eight at night. We've given him the keys and some phone numbers in this little booklet of ventures that says, throw your rickshaw off a cliff, question mark, and has some numbers. They've got the numbers, they've got the rickshaw. We just want to get out of here. Ben, it's seven pounds 20 per megabyte. Have you got a login? And Ben's been doing Instagram stories, sending pictures, downloading songs off of Spotify, using maps all day. Uh, we are gonna try and get to Dupi. So we're we are currently in Calicut. Uh, we're currently in Calicut. We made it to the coast. We did about 250 kilometers yesterday or something. Okay, we we are less one rickshaw. <laughs> but now we have two strong, mighty beasts. So we, we've done well today. We've been driving for about three and a half hours. The best time per kilometers we've done, however, We've now got a flat tyre. Let's just get our head down, lads, you know, driving 300k, let's just do it, yeah? Taking a pit stop on day three of some true Indian cuisine. Vegetarian. Colonel Sanders brother's house, RFC. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they are, but we could feel something going dit, 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 dit in the engine. They're meant to look like that. They're meant to look like that, Robert, and they actually look like this. It's completely melted to sh. Okay, we are nearing, we're in the last 60 kilometers to drive on day three. We are going to a place called Adupi. Adupi? I don't know where we're going to stay. Hope it's somewhere nice. Stay around. We've got this theory, right, that when we roll into a town, the town that we plan to get to, we just look for the hotel with the with the highest, lightest sign, and it always turns out pretty nice. We've seen lots of marble shops along the way, and they've definitely been to one of them. It's 5 a.m., we got up at 4.30. 
A little bit tired, but we need to get to go up and we want to get there early. So this is how we're going to do it. How you doing, guys? Of course, his name's Archie. That's just a good idea. We've already got too much weight on top. We've already got the three biggest boys in this rickshaw. Rickshaw's struggling, got a long way to go today. It's beyond unnecessary, isn't it? I feel like he's going to enjoy him later. He does love him. He's being spiteful towards him. Archer's on top. Back on the road, boys. <laughs> We've just driven past a load of monkeys, we're in a nature reserve. We were wondering why other people were driving past, the monkeys were just chilling and looking at them. And they were looking at ours and going, ooh, and ducking behind the wall. Ben, from behind, realised they were looking at a blooming tiger, or the chi or whatever the hell it is, on top of the car. Well, this is the earliest we've ever arrived anywhere. We've been here since about 4 p.m. We left at 5 a.m., did 330 kilometers, didn't stop for lunch, barely stopped for anything. Okay, we're in the beach in Goa, which is pretty ideal. It's much better than sitting in a rickshaw. Um, bad news, Sam's had some money taken out of his account, fraudulently. I'm the one and only. It's about midday, we've had a good morning. We're just about to set off now. Even though the mechanics have been working on our rickshaws all night and this morning, <laughs> neither of them are, are working. This is having a bit of fun with uh, Indian Tinder. <laughs> What's going on, man? Um, just loading up, a bit later than in plan. Tiger's lost an eye, so Raph's putting some goggles on him just to, just to protect the other one, basically. His name's Abdul the Jaguar. It's not a Jaguar, mate. We just reached Collapur, put into the maps, McDonald's, and um, turned out one was really near the hotel we're going to. So we're going to stop and get some lunch, you know what I'm saying? The really nifty feature on the rickshaws is completely open sides, no doors, no locking stuff. So basically we can't let them out of our sight. So we've had to buy McDonald's and come back down to the car park to eat it. It's just a stylish trip, this, isn't it? It's a pretty fine dining experience, this. I think this, this might look like a serious low point here, but it feels a very high point in here. End of day five. God, this is feeling like an epic, epic adventure. We've got nine days left. Nine days left. Two weeks to make it to Jai Salma. Hit that finish podium. The beasts at the moment feel like we might make it, touch wood. We're staying at Hotel Richelieu. Again, we're going on our same our same tactic of picking the hotel with the biggest, tallest, brightest sign. Oh no! Oh. Mate! 